Hey everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I am going to be setting up my budget planner for the month of July. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okie dokie. So I had planned on using my daily duo that I got from Erin Condra for my budget planner and then like daily planning, but once I sat down with it, I was like, yeah, this is too big. Like, I can't. I can't. It's too much. So this is still, I believe, a probably a seven by nine size. But as you can see, it is a much thinner profile. So it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. And it does still fit in this little case that I got. The rings aren't as big. So, you know, it has some gapping, but it's okay. Like it works for me. It'll be good on my table, whatever. But I just like to keep my covers kind of protected as much as possible. This is, I think they're like vegan leather and it's actually a productivity notebook. So I bought these, for, oh, I'm sorry, a uh, productivity planner. So I bought these primarily with school in mind. And I have, I ended up getting two of them because they were on like sale for like, I think like 10 bucks. So I ended up getting two of them. So the one I'm using for school and then this one I'm going to use for this. So it has the monthly calendar in the front, which you can see I already set up. Um, this sticker here is from Elisa Ravel. These are from Orange Umbrella Co. And my numbers are from Orange Umbrella Co. And then I have this washi, which I don't remember where, I don't remember whose shop this came from, but it is, I did get it from the Chicago Planner Conference last year. And then this super cute panda sticker is from the Dramatic Panda. And so I will be using these throughout the setup of this particular planner because they're cute and yes i want to look at super cute pandas for the month so do you have to decorate your planner uh-uh nope you don't but if you're been around here then you know the decorating planners is also my thing and this planner is no exception to that so here we go all right, so the only thing of here that I need to note is that the 4th is Independence Day, which means some extra money may be coming out. So I will kind of keep a little bit more in the buffer, which you will see coming up very soon. So also as part of this book, it comes with this habit tracker page and then this page, which I will not be using. I did create these monthly budget stickers for myself because honestly, you guys, like I was tired of writing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So I decided why not? And I'm going to stick this in really quickly and then we'll go over it. I feel like I need to start. No, this is fine. I did measure this for the Daily Duo. So hopefully... It'll still fit. Okay. I feel like it will, though. And I don't care about being able to see the lines and things like that underneath. Like, I know some people, like, white out and all that jazz, but it doesn't bother me. Okay. There we go. It's a little wrinkly, which is a user error. <laughs> But that's okay. So as you can see, here's my budget for the month. I have my paydays up here at the top. I do not include income from Etsy or YouTube in my budget just because those numbers fluctuate and it's difficult for me to keep up. And, you know, I don't con consistently get either one of those to include them. So I am pretty sure... Well, I know that I'm going to get paid from Etsy. I just don't know how much because I do once a month pay. But I'm pretty sure that I did not meet the threshold for YouTube this time. So I will not be getting paid from YouTube this month, but I should be getting paid from YouTube next month. So that's what I'm talking about. Like Because it's not consistent yet, I don't want to include that. So any money that I get from either of these two will go towards stuffing my Brandy Janae binder and then the remaining money that I have will just go into like extra money for savings challenges like that's it I'm not gonna include bills in that at all so then over here I have my bills and expenses which for me total out to $1,964 
Then over here, I have like my debt payments, which totals out to $800. And this is month for the month. And then I subtract, I took my income, which I totally did this wrong earlier. So funny. But I took my income, subtracted my bills and expenses, subtracted my debt. And then I should have $1,636. Now, this is not my actual income. This is just kind of like a rounded ballpark figure. It's pretty close to the actual thing, but not completely, you know, the 100% total. Because again, I like to keep a buffer because sometimes I'll be doing too much and I want to make sure... <laughs> uh, I want to make sure that I'm covered on all ends. So... I have this sticker, which is for my cash envelopes. And this is something that we are going to finish up in just a moment. Okay, so I made this sticker here. Uh, the first section is paycheck one, that's on this side. So I have everything that I know that I stuff on my wallet. These numbers never change. Sinking funds is what changes the most, as well as my 50 envelope challenge. Everything else, I pretty much leave the same. Now, again, if I get money from Etsy, I will put that in here and then I just kind of throw it in. So, you know, for mini Monday, instead of having $60, maybe I'll have like 70 or whatever, whatever the case is. I just add those in kind of like off to the side, but I don't change this because this is, you know, it is what it is. So that I'm able to do all of my challenges, I had to kind of give myself a limit. <laughs> um, so then over here, I like to break it down, my, you know, income down per like calendar week. Let me go back. Sorry, it's going to be a lot of flipping, you guys. So... Looking at the monthly calendar, I took the first week, which it would be the first. Well, for me, it would actually be the 30th because that's when I get paid. So the 30th until the 7th. And I put all of those things here that totals to $1,210 for this particular week. And then I took the week of the 8th through the 14th. So as you can see, that's just these three things here. And that totals $224 for the week. So remaining, I have $766. So for my cash envelopes, we're going to just put $700. And I forgot to grab my calculator. Give me one second. Okay. So we have the 700 here minus 277 minus, I know this is going to be, oh wait, no. Okay, hold on. Let me add this up first. Okay, so let me grab my 50 envelope challenge. On the next one, I am going to have to do 12 and 38. So that is going to be... 15 plus 40, which would be 55. So 50 plus 55 plus 60 plus 60 plus 80 equals $305. This, I have this uh, toolbox on my desk and it is driving me crazy with this rattling. Okay. So that's going to be for that one. And then for the next one, I'm only going to be able to... Oh, no, that's not... It doesn't matter. The next one is going to be 38 because I've already done this one. So for this one, I am going to stuff $50. Well, no. Yes, that's good. 50. We're going to just round up to 50. Because again, in this challenge, I'm hoping to save more than the $12.75 that's allotted to that because I really would like to have $5,000 saved at the end of the year. I'm not sure if I'm going to meet that goal, but I'm trying. <laughs> so 50 plus 50 plus 60 plus 60 plus 80 equals 300. Okay. 
So we have that. So this number will obviously fluctuate a little bit depending on what I'm stuffing, but it will be $50 for the next couple times because I've already done those numbers before I found out about the 31 trick. Okay, so we have $700 here minus the 277 minus 305 and that leaves us with $118 that we will put in our sinking funds and this video comes out on Sunday. So this will be for Sunday. <sighs> so yeah, that's a good number. Okay. While we're here, I want to put Because again, your girl has to have some stickers. I love that one. And I don't even care if these are planner stickers, because guess what? I'm a planner girl. <laughs> they don't have to be budgeting stickers. They just, I just need them to be cute. And honestly, budgeting is planning, essentially. I am planning where my money is going to go and what my money is going to do. All right, so then down here, my plan is to write down like, I mean, really honestly, just like any notes related to my budget, like, uh, you know, again, I need to make note of 4th of July, which is coming up. There's a few birthdays in the month of July that I need to plan for, um, you know, little things like that. So definitely want to keep this section mostly empty, but also make it cute because that's what I do. Okay, love it. It's a little crooked. Mm, let me see if I can fix it. I don't know. Sometimes this paper. Okay, it's okay. Sometimes this paper is real funny acting and it will kind of rip on you. Okay, love that. So then again, we can add a little part down here. this one up here let's put birthdays this will be for any notes slash to do's regarding my budget and then this one we're going to make for events slash holidays and this one is going to keep track of savings challenges for like the month okay okay so cute and then of course that it also comes with these two note pages so I can you know put anything here but for right now, I am going to add this for right now, which is something, actually, no, I'm going to wait until I finish doing it. Um, I put this on initially, I glued this to a ruler. But I don't remember, honestly, I don't remember where I put it, friends. 
I need to find it because I already did this and I actually attached it to a ruler that would snap right in here, but I don't remember where I put it. So after I finish looking at this, then I'm going to go get it. So then I also created this debt tracker on Canva and I am going to just stick this in here with a little bit of washi tape. I don't want it permanent. I want it to be able to move. And I may actually just attach this to a thing as well. Um, but this will just kind of help me keep track of the debt that I'm paying off and keep me motivated to do so. So there is that. And this is like as of the time I found these numbers. So that's why there aren't any covered in. Obviously, I've already been paying on my car and I've already been paying on my loan. Like I do that. <laughs> but this is what it is after on the day that I made this. These are my balances. So anywho. All right. So we got this done. We came up with $700 that we're going to be stuffing. And so then basically after I Oh, no. Let's go ahead and do this second one. Sorry. I like to kind of do it all at the same time. And then over here is the same thing. I took out for week three, the 15th through the 21st. These are all the bills or expenses. And then this is the total for that week. Um, this is the total for this week. And then when you subtract this out, you have $873. So for this one, we're going to do $800. And then again... Now we have 800 minus 301. Sorry, I have the hiccups as usual. Minus 300 equals 199. That's crazy. 199 plus 300 plus 301. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this one will probably get split up a little bit more. I do have a travel binder that I'm planning on stuffing, so I may put some of this in that because that's a lot. <laughs> it will take me a very, very long time to cash stuff this. So yeah, this, I'm probably going to split this down a little bit. I may even just add a little bit more to here, um, but I do have a travel binder that I want to stuff, so maybe I'll start it with this. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that is how that works. And then last but not least, I take this first column because that's what we're working with first. And then I grab, we'll just use this one, a Sharpie. And I legit just go through and write my category. So beauty. is 102, food is 60, miscellaneous is 50. And I don't remember who I got this from either. I think it might've been Mandy's budgeting though, but I don't remember. Gas is 60. And honestly, I will probably create one of these as well so that again, I don't have to write this every week. <laughs> Giving is five and then we have I'm just going to put sink funds. It's 118. Monthly is 50. 50. Uh, 55. Monday is 60. Wednesday is 60. Friday is 80. And then the total for that is 700. And then basically, again, all I do is go through and figure out what needs what. So I'll do beauty with you. And then I'll come back at the end and show you <laughs> what it looks like when it's all together. So for beauty, I do 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 50, one, two, three, four. And then food, uh, we'll just do it. 
60, miscellaneous, 20, 40, 50, gas, 20, 40, 60, giving, one, two, three, four, five, sinking funds. That one I'm not going to do. Uh, monthly, again, I do a 50. For my envelopes, I will do a 10 and a 5, and then 20, 40. Um, for Monday, we're going to do 30 and 1s, 30, oops. We'll just put a 6, 6 fives and 30 and 1s. <laughs> Wednesday, the same, 6 fives, 30 and 1s. Friday, 8 fives, 40 and 1s. Sinking funds. Okay, let's just do it. We're going to get 50. No, not 50. Brandy. Okay, sorry. We're going to get five tens for 50. And then we'll get... Uh, 220s, so that's 20, 40, that's 90, 5, 100, and then, oops, 18. Okay, y'all. I could have just done these all in tally mark. I mean, without the tally mark. I don't know why I did it that way. That's okay. So we need $100 in 50s, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 280 in 20s, 5, 50, 60, 70 in 10s. Ugh. Calculator. <laughs> so we have a 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 30 plus 30 plus 40. So $120 in fives and then 40, 70, 100, 18, 23, 25, and 30. And assuming that I did this correctly, correctly it will equal... $700. 120 plus 130 plus 70 plus 280 plus 100 equals 700. Whoop, whoop. All right. And then I take this information, put it on one of my cash slips, give it to the bank teller, and this is what I get. So that is it, you guys. Um, I know I didn't do a much a bunch of like the writing of this process, but hopefully with you being able to see it, it'll make more sense. I know a lot of people ask me like, how do I know how much money to put in savings challenges and games? Well, the only way I know is by doing this process first. So I, you know, do all the bills, all the debt, all the expenses, all of those things subtracted. And then whatever I have left is what, you know, I give to my sinking funds, my wallet, my, you know, all of those extra things. Wallet is obviously a priority for me because I need money to live. Um, and then, you know, the monthly envelope and the 50 envelope are also priorities for me. So even if I didn't have enough for these other things, those are like the non-negotiables for me. And then of course, you know, we're going into your Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and these numbers can always be lower. So if I have a month where for whatever reason, I don't make 2200 I mean, you know, paycheck where I don't make $2,200 and this has to be adjusted down like this part, then it is what it is. <laughs> but my wallet my monthly and my 50 envelope are non-negotiables for me because again, that is what I'm using to save towards my 5k. So that is it. I hope that this helps kind of explain my process. 
I like to say that I do budgeting for beginners. <laughs> I know there's a lot of terminology and a lot of things out there that for me, I found to be very, very, very confusing. Um, you know, so this method, it just works best for me in the phase of life where I am. One day I may start to do some more like advanced budgeting, but right now this is where I'm at. I need a monthly, uh, I need a, you know, budget breakdown and then i need like what each week is going to look like so literally this could all be done in a composition notebook or a regular notebook from walmart like it does not have to be anything spectacular this is just what i choose to do because this is just what i enjoy doing <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave me a thumbs up also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i post a new video you guys are absolutely amazing be safe be kind or be quiet and be well and i'll catch you in the next one